client I messages every day about this. I'm probably gonna come out with a video sequence about how to do a ton of different approaches. Let's come up with something super simple, super straightforward that will change what you do. So, parts of a question. There's the annoying HPI where all the clues are hidden. Then you have this one little part where there's a question. Then there are answer choices, right? Classically four or five. Sometimes there's more, right? Sometimes there's even more, right? Hashtag Yosem Lee, it's annoying. So I'm not gonna give you all the tips. There's not enough time. I wanna keep this short and fun. So let's just do what I'd recommend, which would be when you look at a question, you should start with time. How much time do you have, right? You just start, okay, if you're halfway through the block, you should know how much time you need to finish the second half, all right? So time is number one. Don't run out of time. That's easy points, easy points, okay? Number two is, what is the, the question? So look at the answer options. Number one, look at the answer options. Are they bugs? Are they drugs? Is it pathology? Is it physio? What is it, genetics? Figure out what they're asking. Are there numbers? Is it a calculation? So it kind of gives your mind the right perspective to look at the question, to look for those right details, all right? Everyone says, oh, uh, let's just go read the question. All right, well, every question says, which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? Great. Did that really do anything for you? No. And you're going to reread that shit again. Is that, that helpful? No, because nine, I mean, nine times out of 10, you read this, you're not highlighting like you should. And then you get to here and you're like, what did it just ask me? Who is this person? What is their age? So there's more tips I could talk about where you have to be more objective, like boom, are they stable, unstable? What is their age? What is their race? These are things you should be thinking about. But the take home point of this is always make sure you have time. Look at the answers to make sure you know what the question is gonna be asking. I'll give you one more. And it's highlight the darn clues, right? So if they give you, um, let's say it's like an A through uh, L for Lewis, right? If they give you that, then you know it has to be very obvious if they gave you so many options, which means this, this, and that, that triad is pathognomonic for this, okay? If they just give you a few of them, you gotta look at the details, all right? Is it wrong to read this first? No. I'm just saying I'm all about saving time, being efficient and effective. Get your time right. Know your time. This is a test. It's a sport. Become a pro at it. Look at what they're doing. Highlight the clues. Cross out the ones that don't make sense. Okay? Easy stuff. You got this. All right? So stay motivated. Follow this tip. You should save time. Track your time. Look at the uh, answers. Look for the clues. And then go forward. Hopefully that helps. Hope you have a great day. If you need anything, DM me anytime, 24-7. I may not respond right away, but you have my attention. All right, have a nice day, guys. Hopefully this helped.